Hi, have your network experienced uh, application performance issue due to storage due to slow drain device? Today we're going to describe the slow drain device problem. Um, I'm Tom Chen, a senior product manager in Brocade's uh, storage networking. I'm here with Dennis Makashima. He's the vice president of software development. As customers commonly experience a, a performance issue in data center network. Sometimes they describe the problem as a slow drain device, sometimes they describe the problem as a oversubscription or speed mismatch. Can you help them to understand uh, the what's uh, exactly a slow drain device? Sure, Tom. The slow drain device is really a, uh, and overscription are forms of congestion. And congestion, is, it's a very common problem. It's, it's not unique to Fiber Channel, it's a common networking problem. So Fiber Channel is what's considered a lossless network, and uh, the reason why it's, uh, it's a lossless network is because it has flow control. So flow control with Fiber Channel is known as what's called buffer to buffer or BB credit flow control. And the way that works is for one port on one side of the cable to send a packet or a frame to the other side of the cable to the receiver, it needs a credit. So the receiver sends a credit, then the sender sends the frame. Credit, frame, credit, frame. It's kind of like a token to cross the bridge. You can't cross the bridge unless you have a token. So that's the way credit-based flow control works with Fiber Channel. And when it works well, it works, it works beautifully. And so the issues come about um, when there's a mismatch between number of frames to send and the credit that you have. So there's three different types of congestion issues in Fiber Channel. One of them is you may lose a credit. Uh, for example, if there's a bad cable, a bad SFP, you, you might corrupt the credit and then you lose a credit and then all the traffic will stop. That's one issue. And then another issue is what's called oversubscription. Oversubscription is when you have a mismatch in what the receiver can handle from what the sender is sending. So with oversubscription, you might have 15 devices talking to one device. And, and what happens is, is the receiver can only take frames at a certain rate, and then um, basically things will start backing up in the network. The main focus of this video is gonna be slow drain devices. So what happens with slow drain devices is the, the receiver stops issuing credit. They just stop. And we don't know why in all cases, but they, they stop and then what happens is uh, the traffic will back up and it will back up into the fabric and cause a lot of issues. The root cause of a slow drain device is quite different from um, oversubscription or physical linkage, uh, link issue. With the slow drain device, the, the, the end device, the receiver, like I said, stops issuing credit. What happens is, is that the, the slow drain device will stop issuing credit for maybe um, tens of milliseconds, hundreds of milliseconds, or even seconds. And I would describe a moderate slow drain device as a device that doesn't send credit for maybe tens to hundreds of microseconds. And <clears throat> a severe slow drain device is in the tens to hundreds to of milliseconds to seconds. And when you have a severe slow drain device, what happens is, is that the, the frames stay in the buffers of the switch so long that they, they will time out. And when they time out, by fiber channel standards, we have to drop them. And when we have to drop them, uh, that'll trigger an issue where the drivers in the servers will have to retry the frames. They'll, 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 they'll tie them, time them out and then retry the IOs. And when they retry the IOs, they may not retry the IOs for tens of seconds. So what starts off as, as a tens of milliseconds or hundreds of milliseconds or seconds of issue turns into tens of seconds of, or 60 seconds of latencies. So Dennis, as customers run mission critical applications on a storage network, and uh, this kind of uh, impact would ser cause serious application problems. And is it okay for the uh, storage or uh, server behaving that way? Yeah, you're, you're right. When, when this issue happens, definitely it causes application issues and you see application slowdowns and sometimes the applications will crash. So clearly that's not okay. And uh, if you think about is it okay for a device to be doing this, let's think about what the device is doing. From a technical level, 
the device asks for data, then it says, stop, I can't take it. And, and an analogy is maybe there's a big football game and there's a stadium that holds 100,000 people and everybody knows that the game is on and everybody gets on the freeway, they drive towards the stadium, but then the stadium gates are closed. They say, uh-uh, you can't come in. The traffic will back up on the freeway and no one can get in. And then not only is the traffic impacting the people going to the stadium, it affects, it affects everybody on the highway. So really this is not okay behavior for an end device to be doing. In fact, I refer to the issue as, as a misbehaving device or, or a malfunctioning device. Yeah, I think uh, that uh, puts it very uh, clearly to uh, easy to understand where the problem is. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what the prevalence of this problem of in our net network? It's, it's really incredibly pervasive, much more pervasive than, than, than we thought. So we, we looked into our databases and our support cases, and, and we found that this happens about to, it's happened to about five to 10% of our ports out in, out in the install base. And we've also did some analysis with a, a large OEM, and, and we found that about 25% of their hot cases were due to the slow drain issue. And another thing that we, we found, we did some case studies with some very, very large end user customers, and, and we found at one particular large end user customer that they would see severe slow drain thousands upon thousands of times per year. That's a very um, a serious problem and also it's a very prevalent um, as uh, saying admins that manage a network to support a mission critical um, applications, they certainly worry about this problem and uh, how do we help them to um, troubleshoot and uh, mitigate this problem? Yes, well we've been working on this issue for, for quite some time, for, for years, and we put a lot of engineering effort to, to deal with this problem. We've created a lot of tools to detect the issue and to do some amount of mitigation. So we, we have the fabric vision features and in particular we have, we have maps and, and which is monitoring and alerting policy suite and the FPI feature, fabric performance impact um, monitoring feature. And, and um, we have these features that we developed uh, as part of fabric vision and that's an easy way for the customer to find and to do some amount of mitigation of these issues. And um, unfortunately, not all the customers have Fabric Vision either enabled or they may not be on, on a Fabric OS version that supports Fabric, uh, fabric Vision, and then they have to do the troubleshooting manually. So the manual troubleshooting typically is done by uh, support, but it could be done by the customer as well. And to look for slow drain, you, you need to look for signs of congestion, and we have counters on the ports that indicate congestion. So we have set up a tool to um, uh, troubleshoot and mitigate the slow drain device problem in the, in the uh, Brocade SAN network. Um, as uh, customers use this tool, what's the next step after they troubleshoot and uh, mitigate this problem? Right, so we have tools that do some amount of mitigation. For example, it might toggle the port, uh, quarantine the device into its own virtual channel, uh, disable the port, and um, these are the type of things that can be done uh, for mitigation, either automatically by Fabric Vision tools or manually by, uh, by, by the customer. So these are really just kind of stopgap solutions and it's kind of temporary mitigation. It's kind of like if you have uh, a problem with your computer and it freezes and then you reboot it, the problem might be gone, but it's really not gone. So really the way to, to solve it is you need to bring the issue to the end device vendor. It might be HBA vendor, it might be a storage array vendor, and you need to, to have them look at the issue and, and hopefully solve the issue. Thank you, Dennis, for um, describe the problem clearly and uh, and also explain what tool we have. Clearly, we have a set of tools that helps customer to um, debug and troubleshoot and uh, mitigate these issues. I also want to highlight again our fabric vision, uh, specifically on the maps and the FPI, as you mentioned. And we also have uh, additional um, maps and uh, FPI uh, videos that describe the capability of these features. 
I would certainly encourage you to go to brocade.com and find out more information about maps and the FPI.